Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura's the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Suspicious. Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes and tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Suspicious. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body, meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Hmm. Hmm. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Suspicious. Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. Uh huh. <laughs> 